Welcome to my new series called Unconventional Love Letter. This one is to Mega Man. I fell in love with the Mega Man series at a different time than most. I never had any Mega Man games on the NES. I never even had a Super Nintendo. My grandma had one and that's the only way I could play one. Mega Man was nowhere to be found. My house was a Sega Genesis temple. Then one day in 98, that all changed. I had my birthday party at my small town's arcade place. The place was amazing, but it didn't last long and it went out of business, sadly. This business made me fall in love with Mega Man and Metal Slug. My first time I touched a Mega Man game was on an arcade cabinet. The screen popped up and I'll never forget it. This opening blew my mind. It looked like the craziest cartoon ever. Every character just looked amazing. That sound, all the memories, these cutscenes. I was just blown away. I played Metal Slug for like 20 minutes. This game, this game was played at least three hours. Majority of my birthday party was playing this damn amazing, beautiful masterpiece. This story was dark and mature. The Rebel Force wanted their liberty and freedom Weren't they villains though? Didn't they just destroy this city? Is the guy with the red X in the cutscene pulling all the strings? Okay, no spoilers beyond this point. You need to play it for yourself. The bosses looked so cool. From this point on, I was a mega stan. No games I played looked this clean and crisp. How could I not play these up to this point? How could I play these at my house? Well, the answer soon appeared. I had only had my PlayStation 1 for such a short time, but what did I see on the shelf? Mega Man Legends. I thought it would be like X4, but no, it was a whole different beast. It was like a Mega Man RPG, and RPGs were my favorites. Mega Man Legends 1 and 2 sold poorly, and I'll never understand how. This game blew my socks off. Like I probably pitched my first tent ever after seeing this game. An open world adventure, great character designs. The gameplay was great. What is going on? All right, let's just take a breather. Wow, I just. What are you looking at? Sexual awakening. What? Nothing. Um. Uh. Ah uh, 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 yes, the the game, the game. I had played nothing like it up to this point in my life. I could run around and go to all these places. So much freedom. In a world covered by endless water. This opening is like Star Wars, I thought. Mega Man? Mega Man! Wow, what is this? Kind of creepy. Whoa, Mega Man looks kind of different. No helmet? But I'd never seen a game look this good. The whole concept is that you're a treasure hunter and a miner. Sounds goofy, but it's awesome. You're collecting things called refractor crystals. I mean, come on, this this opening right here is like something out of Indiana Jones. Just check this out. Be careful. This game also has one of the first side quests I've ever seen. This lady wants you to find her husband down in a mine. It's a Mega Man RPG. What is there not to love? Exploring is fun, and the boss fights are sometimes zany, always challenging. 
This game has a sequel on the PlayStation, and the third was a canceled 3DS game. Said that we won't have a new Legends game in the foreseeable future. What's your favorite Mega Man game? Did you fall in love with the series in an unconventional way? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Mikey Man Guy, and thanks for watching. Keep on gaming, friends.